I started eating a plant-based diet five years ago and the most common question I get when I say I'm vegan is so what do you eat? Many people don't know that being vegan is way easier than they think. To give up cheese, milk, ice cream, and meat for a better health, take into a more conscious decision of why I chose to go this route, while respecting others had really helped me educate and even bring value to other people's assumptions about food. So without further ado, let me show you a glimpse of what it's like to be a vegan for a day. To make this breakfast, I start with a block of tofu. I try to cut it into an egg-like slice so it doesn't have to be too thick or too thin, just, you know, depending on how you like it. So I try to do it round. That way it can go with the size of the English muffin as well as the sausage. And then I add some paprika, turmeric, as well as salt and pepper if you wish. Because vegans normally lack vitamin B12, this nutritional yeast gives it the color of the egg and also vitamin B12, which we lack as vegans. I wanted to show you guys real quick this awesome root that came out of this monstera plant. There's no way that I can cut this because I feel like because of this root there's this brand new leaf and it looks so nice. I'm so happy how this plant is coming out so far. It has about like seven leaves already and it was a gift from a friend that she propagated from her own plant. And she gave me just one little plant and out of that one leaf came out several other ones within the next few months so I'm really excited and right now I'm just giving it a little bit of Sun it's really bright outside that's why we have the blackout curtains but I just want to make sure that I am keeping this plant healthy 
So let's check the time. It's actually 11.51. I'm kind of getting hungry, so I'm just gonna prepare myself a little bowl of yogurt with probably some fruit and maybe nuts. I'm not gonna be able to eat until maybe after three because I have something else to do. Right now, I'm just gonna go make a quick errand. I'm gonna go drop off this little gift that I have for my sister that's visiting in town and because of COVID, I'm not gonna be able to see her in person, but I still wanted to make her feel welcomed. You know, circumstances are kind of difficult right now, so I'm just gonna go do that quick errand. I have some iced tea in the microwave that's still um, steeping. I really like my iced tea, really concentrated. So I put two tea bags in there. One of my favorite teas, especially for hot days like these. It's super hot outside. I'm wearing my favorite color and I love this color, orange. It's the only color that I appreciate a lot uh, besides the neutrals and all that other stuff. I'm gonna do that quick errand. I'm gonna come back, eat the yogurt, have some iced tea, and then we'll have lunch. So see you then. Here I have some frozen blueberries, frozen passion fruit, and frozen, no not passion fruit, dragon fruit, and frozen cherries with a dairy free yogurt, as well as tall mixed chocolate chips and cranberries. For this, you're gonna need, of course, your base, which is either lettuce, Roman lettuce, any kind of greens. You're also going to need carrots. Try to find the loose. You also need cucumbers, and you can also get the meatless chicken strips or the teriyaki chicken and just use the chicken. Now, when it comes to dressing, a lot of people feel like it probably won't even taste good, but I can tell you from years and years of trying different kinds of dressings, different flavors. Now, if you don't like beets, then you can just skip it out and just replace it with something else. For the evening snack, this is my favorite popcorn of all time. It's from Boom Chicka Pop. So thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video.